it's a pretty frosty morning here in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's in November, and what we're looking at today is a is a solar food dehydrator that I built. Uh, it's called a SunWorks food dehydrator, and uh, pretty simple design. So you have the uh, a piece of plexiglass on top, lets the solar radiation through. You have two trays, and underneath you have a, an air intake screened off. So what happens is the sunlight goes through and heats a metal diffuser. It's in this area. Brings air in the bottom through the intake across the diffuser. That's a you know black uh, uh, metal, and then it can circulate up through the the trays. And the fruit and then vents through the top. Um, I haven't put the latches on the door yet, just sort of getting started with this one. But the idea is that you want to um, not cook the apples, you just want to dehydrate them. So, what, really, what you need is air flow. So, this will raise the temperature inside this box about 50 degrees above ambient air temperature. So, if it's 30 out, this will be 80. You know, on up, so you don't, don't really don't want to cook it. So you need to adjust the draft as, as necessary. Uh, you can put a thermometer inside and things like that to get a little more sophisticated. So what we've done um, is trimmed a couple apples. So we're trying to make them uniform size, you know, sort of like a chip. You know, spread them out on a sheet. This is. Uh, window screen from low so you buy the, the edges and the corners put together then I just use the chicken wire to to support the, the mesh um, I wouldn't want to put foods directly in contact with that chicken wire especially if there's any acid involved could be lead and other metals associated with that wire so this is actually food grade plastic screen that is from the store-bought dehydrator. This is this is the real the real stuff. So anything that's in contact with food should be food grade. Spread those out on a sheet. Slide that in. You see the two. They have another sheet below. Then the diffuser on the bottom. And we'll close that up. So what I'm using for apples, and these were just drops. You know, it's from someone's yard. Uh, they're you know, organic, There's, they're not putting anything on a tree, they're not spraying anything in the yard, so a lot of blemishes, things you have to cut around. Uh, they were free, uh, you know, got a lot of them. So just pick through those, trim those up, and the end result is here. So these have been dehydrated, I think, two days. We had some cloudy weather, so it didn't get as much airflow, and they get a little spongy. Uh, so these you, know, you could get real sophisticated and weigh the apples before and after and determine the moisture content and all that. I just taste them. They're actually pretty good. Um, if you cut them real thin, you know, they come out more, more like chips. You can freeze these as they are, or uh, you could, uh, you know, obviously just eat them as, as they are. But you, if you freeze them, they'll keep for a long time. You can essentially rehydrate them. And uh, make them use them in pies and everything. There you go. So we'll dehydrate those and see what they look like.